Hi, welcome to Teaching Moments. My name is Hillary. Today I'm going to do a review on the science curriculum from Apologia called Swimming Creatures of the Fifth Day. So if you've watched my channel at all, you may know that I have done a Becca Science for most of my homeschooling years. This is the first year that I decided to switch things up a little bit and I decided to try something new. So we went for Apologia's book and I have to say, I absolutely love this book. This book is for kindergarten through sixth graders. So you can put the kids in that age range together, which I found to be very helpful. Um, there's so many things that I liked about this. So let's see, where should I start? I liked how deep it went. It gave you depth of all different kinds of animals in the sea. Um, I guess, so I guess I have Rebecca to mainly compare it to. And Rebecca just went not very deep, but it gave you a lot of different topics to learn about. But this one sticks to, of course, one topic, which is the sea creatures. But it talked about all different sea creatures, whales and octopuses and jellyfish. And, and it went in more depth with all of these animals, which I loved. I love curriculum that has that philosophy to go deep into what you're learning instead of learning a lot, but only a little bit. So I really loved this for that reason. I also loved it because of the flexibility for the parent teacher. It doesn't really tell you where to stop and where to start as far as like one lesson is concerned. This book can take you a full school year if you want it to, or it can take you just a semester. It just really depends on you. So they do have in here, like for example, here's lesson four. And you keep reading until maybe you would get down to the try this. And maybe that would be a good point for you to stop. But they have some subtitles here in between. And then every once in a while they give you, if I can find a page that has one. Oh, every once in a while they'll have like right here, there's a question for a discussion question to kind of make sure that they were understanding what was being said in these. I like this because it gives you flexibility for Maybe your school day on that particular day, um, maybe your kids are paying more attention than they usually do, or maybe they're not, <laughs> or maybe you have some other things that you need to go do, or some other classes you need to teach, so you spend a smaller amount of time, or maybe you've got a good afternoon set aside to where you just, you have some good solid time and you can sit down and read to them and they're interested, and so you can just keep on going. I love the flexibility of you do what you need to do for that day or uh, that child. Um, that I found very helpful. I loved the flexibility of it. I didn't feel like I was ever like behind like I have so many other times in a BACA curriculum. So I like the depth. I like the flexibility. Oh, I love the hands-on learning. So they have, oh, this is the teacher's book here. And then they have a student book, but you can choose two different kinds of student books. You can either choose, well, there's the junior notebook, there's the junior notebook journal, or there's just the regular journal. Um, the junior notebook is supposed to be for younger children, but I actually chose it for my two kids that I'm doing this with this year. Um, because of the fact that they have dyslexia and it's so much easier for them to um, draw pictures. So for example, they'll have, they have color pictures. This one is my son's. He's not a huge colorer, so that's fine as long as he's listening. But then they have a page to where they can take notes or in these boxes they can draw pictures if that's what they're going to understand better. So he heard something that he liked and he wanted to remember it. So he drew a picture and he wrote it down a little bit. So I like that. And then also in the journal, there's more hands-on learning. Like this, this for example, has labeling of the fish. And then of course, some more notes and he did draw pictures. I've got 
mini artists amongst my dyslexic kids. That's one of the um, superpowers of dyslexia is there are some great advantages and um, being creative is a huge advantage for dyslexic kids. So because they like to draw so much, I decided that the journal would be really ideal for them, even though they're in third and fifth grade. They probably could have done the older journal, but I just really felt like this would capture their personality better. It would capture their interests better for who they are. But you know your child best, so you look at the other one too and figure out which is the best fit for your child. Then here's another example of another page in there. And then here's what I was talking about with the hands-on learning. That at the end, they usually have some sort of like a mini book or something. So they have the shark and then you're supposed to put notes in there about that and then the other animals that they studied. Um, here's another, woo. Here's another example of a like, there's a mini book that this pocket went into this pocket and you learn that this is a squid and there's a squid and then you put the, um, you put any information you wanted to remember about it and then you stick it in your little pocket here. And so this little journal is packed full of great stuff that they can look back and keep or you as a parent can keep. Um, I just really like that about this, the, the miniature journals. So I feel like they learned better because they were using all their senses. Um, and I especially, I like to use as many senses as possible because then they'll uh, remember it better. And I just really feel like it's, it's engaged my kids so much better to understand with this kind of curriculum as opposed to having done a Becca. A Becca was a little dry for me. Um, a Becca had a few experiments in their science book, not a whole lot. We actually never really did any of them. I don't know if it would have made a difference if we did because there wasn't very many, but um, there is a lot of great activities in the junior notebook anyway. I don't have the other notebook. And then along with this, this particular curriculum of the ocean animals, they're doing an ocean box. So you can have your ocean box be a really big box or it can just be a small shoe box. My son did a small shoe box. Um, he was a little bashful about me showing that one, but my daughter said I could show hers. So this is not a shoe box, this is bigger, which I hope I can get it all in. But as you go along and learn each animal, you're supposed to put it in there. And we found these, you can get, you can cut up pictures from a magazine, print pictures from the computer, which is what we did here. Um, I also went and bought like this little tube of animals. You can find those like at Walmart or a hobby store, even dollar stores might have that um, in their cross section or toy section. And then we just glue things on here. Here's the shells, lobster, that's supposed to be a jellyfish that they made. So this has been really fun too. We're not quite done with the book yet, almost, but it's another great keepsake that we can have that helped to learn better. I love how, like I said, how engaging it is. So I think that's basically my review for this curriculum. I really loved it. It was very engaging. And we do plan on doing another um, one of the Apologia books next year for their science because we loved it so much. So thumbs up to this one. I say go for it. Um, I, it doesn't stick in my mind that their pricing was really high. I think I would have remembered that if it was high. So, but anyway, there you go. I think it was a really great pick for her curriculum. So thank you for watching and I will see you later.